Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Friday and I today I want to do something slightly left field, slightly different. Um, had a thought about this last night, again thought about this morning. Basically, my idea is on Fridays I will talk collectible cards. Now, um, I'm thinking I open brand new packs in front of you so you get to see what I get. Um, We'll talk about them. I am in no way an expert in any of these cards, so we're going to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! I do have collected some. We're going to talk about Magic the Gathering. We're going to open those ones. And we're also going to talk about Pokemon. These are the three packs that I've been collecting for a while, and I know nothing about the animals or the cards themselves so I thought let's open these up I'll show you what I got we'll talk about them but I'll talk about them what I my experiences are not my experiences because I've never played these games before um, and we'll essentially teach ourselves about the individual cards that I get um, and then at the end I'll shuffle them up I'll pick three at random and those three will be given handed out dished out, whatever you want to call it, to whoever leaves a comment on my field. Oh my god. Leaves a comment on my video. My field. Um, I'll pick them at random in next week's video. Um, and then, yeah, you get sent them in the post. So, I get to open new packs, you get to see what I open, we'll talk about the cards I get, and then you guys get to win randomly picked during the video, um, cards to you. You win something, I learn something, everybody's a winner. So, this is why I was going to play out. We're going to open these cards up. I'm going to start with Yu Gi Oh cards. I do have um, their magic. Ah, they're, in the, they're in the cupboard over there, but I do have some. And then we've got Magic the Gathering. Then I'll do Pokemon. This, apparently, this chilling rain. Um, set came out last week, I've been told. So we'll do that. Let's get these open, shall we? <gasps> Exciting. I used to collect cards when I was younger, back in secondary school, a long time ago, a long, long time ago. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. How many do we get in a pack? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a pack. That's the first one, I've not seen them. First one is number 39, Utopia. Um, four stars. Attack two and a half thousand. Defense two thousand. Um, it is a first edition. The the writing is different to anything I've seen. Um, I have to figure out how rare these are. I need to I need to learn that. So. Um, if you guys can leave a comment down below, you will be getting put into the draw for these. Um, number 39, there we go. Utopia. Next up, we've got Stardust. Xylong, I think that's how you say it. Xylong. Attack 100, defense 100. So, that instantly tells me that that Utopia is a far better card. Uh, next up, we've got Rescue Rabbit. Four stars. Um, attack 300, defense 100. Uh, next up, we've got number F0, Utop Utopic Future. There we are. Attack 0, defense 0. So what does this do then? Two XYZ monsters with the same rank, except number monsters. This card's original rank is always treated as I. Cannot be destroyed in battle, and neither player takes any battle damage from attacks involving this card. At the end of the damage step, if this card battled an opponent's monster, you can take control of the opponent's monster until the end of the battle phase. Okay, that's a pretty decent card to have. Next up, we've got um, a ZW Ultimate Shield. Now, with it being a shield, uh, there's no attack, but defense of 2000, which is pretty strong. Aqua. Uh, slash effect. So it's going to be looking at water. 
Next we have the Converging Wishes. Um, trap card. If you have five or more Dragon Synchro Monsters with different names in your GY Special Summon Stardust Dragon um, from the extra deck. Okay. And lastly, this is a holo, a reverse holo, I believe. Um, it's the Tin Dangle Dolls. I think I've destroyed that name, but there you go. Um, five stars on the right. And Fiend Flip Effect. Flip, you can send one spell trap to your deck, to the GY. This card is sent from the hand or deck to the GY. You can target a Tin Dangle Monster in your GY. Um, so attack a thousand, defense a thousand. So that being a hollow, I think was probably a fairly rare one. I don't know. The 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 wording on the top is actually in bold black, whereas the others are in some sort of shiny. So that suggests to me that that is the rarer of the two of the seven I have. There you go. That's the first pack. That's good, isn't it? So stick those there. Next up, the last pack of Yu-Gi-Oh. Make sure I don't damage them. Okay, another seven. So we have Constella Ptolemy M7. Attack two and a two thousand seven hundred this time. Jesus, defense two thousand. So that is six stars on it as well. Blimey. We have a spell card, Pot of Duality. Um, if I excavate top three cards from your deck and add one of them to your hand, also after that, shuffle the rest of the deck into your back into your deck. You can only activate one Pot of Duality at a time. Next, we've got the Golden Eyes Idol. There you go. Um, that's a spellcaster effect. Um, just one star, no attack, no defense. Queen's Knight, next up. Okay. Warrior, normal. This knight catches our opponents off guard, dominating them with swift and yet graceful attacks. Next, we've got Eternal Bond. Yeah. Target any number of photon monsters in your GY. It's a trap card. What is this? The Wicked Eraser. Now, let me count how many stars are on this one, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stars. There we are. That's a biggie. Um, fiend and effect. So attack is question mark. Defense is a question mark. Cannot be cannot be special summoned. Must be normal summoned. Set by attributing three monsters. This card attack and defense are equal to the number of cards your opponent controls times a thousand during your main phase you you can destroy this card if this card is destroyed and sent to the GY destroy all cards on the field wow that's a biggie um, well I don't know it's a biggie but that just seems like a biggie to me and lastly I've got another holo so it's a Joker's Wild trap card um, during the main battle of battle phase send one spell from your deck to the GY that specifically lists all of Queen's Knights. So we've got a holo there, a reverse holo, and it's got a white um, numbering. Um, other than the rest of this pack that I've got, silver shiny writing. So that one suggests to me that is also some form of rare, but I will figure that out eventually. So there you are. That is Yu-Gi-Oh cards done. Let's move on to the other deck, shall we? Magic the Gathering. Come on. Now, there's a lot of cards in here. How many cards? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, I do know a little bit about Magic the Gathering. I know about the rarity and things like that. So, in my first pack of Magic the Gathering, I have got Army Veteran, 
creature of warrior and that is a common you can tell by the the c down the bottom left right left hand corner and also the numbering and that's the number in the deck 281 and this is from card 130 um Ar armory veteran there you go i'm going to probably race through the not race through them but um go a bit quicker than the other ones because there's lots in here and then we've got two more three more packs to go next up outer guard ranger here's a common number 182 <clears throat> he is a creature and human elf ranger horde robber next one and he is a creature and he's a tiefling rogue he is also a common dawn bringer cleric i'm probably butchering these uh names but that is also a common and that is number nine in the set Oh, what I forgot to tell you, this set is the Dungeons and Dragons um, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. That is what deck this is coming from. Soul Knife Spy, uh, that is number two, uh, 75, and that is also a common. Uh, Swarming Goblins, um, number 162. Uh, Ginny, Windseer, I think I said that correctly um that is number 55 in the set i've got shaky hands uh next up improvised weaponry 150 281 sorcery card you find a cursed idol number 213 there we go and that's a sorcery card a veteran dungeoneer uh, that is a common, and that is a creature and a human warrior. Uh, you happened on a glade. You happen on a glade. Number 214. Uh, that's quite a nice picture, actually. This, the, artist, the artistic nature of these are actually pretty good. You see a pair of goblins. Number 170. Yeah. Uh, Feywild Trickster. Number 58. Um, this is a treasure chest and artifacts so are number 252 out of 281. That's also, that is a rare card. And the, uh, the last three, yeah, the last three have all been uncommon. So you have an on the glade, Feywild, Trickster, and you see a pair of goblins. These are all uncommon. You can see that. It says at the bottom a U, right at the bottom there, can you see it in the bottom left? That means uncommon. This treasure chest is a rare one, because it says R down at the bottom left. Um, yeah, and that's Aetal. Mountain, a land card. I'm assuming it's just L down at the bottom means land, um, basic land. And the Ellie Wick Tumblestrum. Now, I don't know what E means. Emblem? Could be emblem card. Number 16 out of 19. There you go. That's the first pack. Done. I will say as well that if there's any cards that you would like in this pack, or any in any other pack that you're after, just send me a message on Instagram, or leave a comment down below. Um, Instagram link is at Reseller Dens. Um, so if there are any cards that you do like in this deck, um, please give me a shout and we'll sort something out. And that goes with all the other sets as well. So, first up we've got a token goblin, token creature, number 12 out of 19. Um, got some sort of cool little thing at the back. Um, so first up, Hill Giant Herd Gorger. Herd Gorger. It's a creature. It's a giant. And that's number 187. That's a common. Horde Robber. I think that was in my last deck as well. So number 110. Delver's Torch. Um, that is number 10 out of 281. Uh, Air Cult Elemental. Um, number 45. That's another common. 
Unexpected Windfall, instant card. Uh, that is number 164. Uh, Rangers Longbow, common card. Um, number 283. Ooh. A Mimic, artifact. 349. Not sure how rare this one is. I mean, it says it's common, but um, it's definitely outside of the 281. Fane at Death, um, instant card, number 103. A Baleful Beholder. I, I, I think I need to say that in some sort of accent. A Baleful Beholder. That's a number 89. At 281, that is also a common card. A Ranger's Hawk, number 37. Uh, going into the uncommons now, I believe. So, a Hulking Bugbear, and 149. A Portable Hole, number 33. That's an uncommon card, that's an artifact. So, I'm assuming that's a hole you can port through. Blue Dragon. Uh, uncommon number 49 legendary creature inferno of the star mounts um, it's an M293 this spell can't be counted counted flying haste a legendary creature not sure how rare that one is but um, it's an M card number 6 out of 6 not number six out of six, that's his strength and defense. Um, and a mounting card at the end. So that is all of the Magic the Gathering cards there. Yeah, not too bad deck. Not that I know much about these cards anyway. So that's your Magic the Gathering done. Now we're moving on to the Pokemon Chilling Rain. Now, I was told that these are the new ones. These were out last week. So what better place to start than a brand new deck. Okay, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards with a token. So first up, we've got Porygon. Um, number 116 out of 198. Now I think I know about the rarity I think circles are common stars are rare I think and diamonds are uncommon let me know down below I think I've got that right um, you can see next to the numbering I've got a circle this is Porygon we've got Galarian Farfetch'd um, and that is also a circle that's also a common number 78 we've got a Deli Bird Number 32. And we've got a coughing. Number 94. We have got ghastly. Number 55. We've got galade. And this is a holo card. You can see it's kind of a bit shimmery. Um, and that is a rare. Number 81. There you go. And malamar. Number 70. There we are. Not a hollow. Don't know why I was twisting it like I was. Um, evolves from Inkay, apparently. Uh, energy card. We've got an Avery. I think that's an uncommon because it's got a diamond down the bottom right left hand corner. Single Strike Scroll of Piercing, number 154. And in this one, we've got an Echoing Horn, uh, number 136. This one, put a basic Pokemon in your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. There we are. That is the first pack of Pokemon cards done. Last pack. And then what I will do after this pack, I will shuffle all, the, all of these cards together. Um, and then randomly pick three that will be up for a giveaway. There we go. Kubfu is the first one. It has um, Elbow Strike, number 93. Uh, Shuppet, um, Will-It-Wisp, and number 
62. There we go. Single strike, apparently. Um, we've got a score bunny. He does a headbutt. <laughs> nice little headbutt. Number 26. Um, a diglet. Uh, here's number 76. Um, and he digs. Nice. I wonder how long it took them to come up with that name. Uh, we have an ink a, um, 69. We have got another holo hologram. It is the Snowba. And that is number nine on the back. Gallade um, is another rare one. I'm sure that was in the last pack. Yeah. Got, okay, I got two of them. Ah. But the other one was a hologram, and this one isn't. So, um, there you go. Uh, and that's a rare. Number 81. Energy card. Fog crystal. That's an uncommon. Uh, search your deck for an energy card or a basic Pokemon. Reveal it and put it in your hand. And then shuffle your deck. Uh, Brawly. Um, number 131, that's an uncommon. And lastly, Curlier. Uncommon number 60, a Mirage Step. So there we are, there we are. Those are the cards I've revealed today to you. Those, hopefully this will be quite an interesting um, one. So I am now going to shuffle all of these cards. I'm gonna pick, should I pick one from each deck? Why not? So I'm going to shuffle a Pokemon. At least it'll keep them all together, right? So shuffle, 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 shuffle. Try not to damage them. And here we are. We are going to pick that card. Here we go. Holocram, rare. Nice. So Gallade is up for a giveaway. Leave a comment down below and you'll be included in next week, next Friday's draw. Next up, should we do Magic the Gathering? Let's do Magic the Gathering. Um, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Play some whole music. Okay, this is going to be your card. There we are. So, Dawn. Bringers Cleric, that is going to be up for giveaway. And lastly, Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! card. I think it'd be quite cool to have one of each. Um, so, shuffling these ones. There we are. Split it in the middle. Wow! The Wicked Eraser. Look at that. 10 stars. And that is going to be up for a giveaway. How good is that? Put that with them. Put that back here. So these three cards are going to be up for a giveaway. So leave a comment down below. You can comment anything you like. A question. Um, whether you like this video or not. You'll be entered into next week's giveaway. Hit that like button. And if you want to continue this to continue in next week, next Friday, so I will do another one. Um, hit that like button and subscribe, and yeah, let's see what we can pick up next week, shall we? Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was kind of fun. I didn't really know how to do the format. Hopefully it was fairly self-explanatory. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. If there are any cards that you are after that I've just shown you, send me a message on at Risa Ledens and um, yeah, we'll get them over to you. We'll sort something out. Stop moving the laptop, Dens. We'll sort something out. Um, yeah. See you in the next one.